So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and a good shield, a good standard, a good bit of heraldry or decoration or things like that can really set off your models. But you know how easy they are to do for yourself rather than having to buy the commercially available ones? Let's have a look. So like everyone else, I often buy shield transfers and flag transfers from people like Little Big Man and other really really good s suppliers of shields um, and standards but I realized actually you can do it yourself and at a fraction of the cost because although these shields are great by the time you bought like I've just uh, dug out a whole load of German infantry and by the time I've bought all the shield transfers to go with them yeah there's enough it's costing me almost as much as the figures again plus the challenge is if you can't find the type of standards or the type of shields you want what do you do now on the conveyor belt tonight you'll notice this fella here with this shield this one with this shield now this shield here is one I made myself. That transfer was home produced. This one commercially bought. So is this one. So we're going to have a look at how you do this quickly and easily. To put a bit of personalisation into your figures. Maybe develop your own kind of shields, your own kind of standards. And actually it's surprisingly easy. So let's take a look. So if you're really really clever and know what you're doing then you can design your own um, shields standards using clip art or whatever else programs you're familiar with or if like me you're um, artistically challenged should we say you'll just go and find some examples that you can use online now a caveat here if you remember you don't own the copyright to any of the pictures that are online often anyway but Google Images, various other sites have a number of decent pictures. So here you are. I want to do um, a shield for De Lacy, who was uh, William, uh, Walter De Lacy. He was at one point um, uh, the sort of landlord. The uh, what's the name? He, he basically ran Ludlow Castle, which is one of my favourite places in the world. So here you go. Here's his shield. Rather nice affair. And I want to use this as my for my retinues. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this program up here. This is called a Snipping Tool, or snip, Sniping Tool. And I believe this is available on all Windows platforms. So you just click on New. There we go. Draw around it. Like that. Bingo. And there's our image. Now save that into my folders the lacy flag Bob's your auntie so we've got that now I can also do this also any other number of flags there's another version of it here oh, a number of different versions of it here look so again exactly what I did before opening up the uh, snipping tool going new around the outside of this image bingo file save as to, to save that into my folder so that's simples and you know so you can either do your own imagery in which case similar kind of process works or you do um, uh, just you know what's commercially available or what's available online so I don't have word uh, on this PC uh, this is a, a free version of a similar kind of thing but um, it doesn't matter I'm just going to use same with would same same would work with word or what have you so I'm going to open up the folder and find the right folder that is uh, it's finished I think it's under there we go and I'm going to copy across insert that and then I'm going to do the other one. Wow. Oh, 
so that is the Lacey 2, so the other one, the Lacey flag, there we go, oops. Okay, it's done that rather large, never mind, doesn't matter. Just going to reduce that down in size. And this is the trick now, you've got to, it's a bit of trial and error to get the sizes the right size. If you're really clever, you can use the size um, of the image across here, but I'm not. I tend to do it by trial and error. So I've got that there. Where's the other image? Uh, this one here. There we go. Let's just cut that one and put it onto the other sheet so I've got them all on one. Same process. Reduce it down a size. It's probably going to be about right and then just print it out on a color printer now initially just check the size by printing out on black and white paper backwards and forwards just till you get to the right size the one you're happy with and then you're good to go so what you do need um, to make this work properly you can I mean, so you've got a choice you can you can take those images that you've created uh, and just print them out on paper in color to the right size and use them and they'll work reasonably well now if you want to take it to a different level um, you can get these uh, clear water slide um, transfer papers uh, you can see here this is eBay a pack of five a4 clear inkjet water slide decal paper sheets <gasps> cost seven pound 25 if you want 10 of them they're 12.95 you can get an awful lot of transfers on one A4 sheet trust me so buy them from Amazon if you if you want or I'm sure there's other online retailers that will sell them for them and you basically insert them into your printer in the same way you would normally and just print them out as higher quality as you can do on your inkjet um, but you know as, as good as it comes out now this is the secret source and something that's really weird you then have to fix it on the on the transfer paper so once you print it out once they make sure it dried because sometimes they can be a little bit um they can come as they come out they're slightly wet um just let it dry for for a little for a few minutes no more than that and then you have to give it a good spray with a varnish spray so you can use um craft ones you can use miniature ones doesn't seem to matter you need to give it a really good coating of varnish let that set let it dry and then do it again and then let that dry and then do it for a third time once you're done it's perfect then you just use it like you would a normal transfer simple as that so let's see how that works so in true blue peter fashion here's some i did earlier so here's some shields for De Lacy uh, that I've used, I've produced already. Uh, this is this uh, uh, paper that I was showing you from Amazon. Um, and all I've done is print it out on my inkjet. I've got the size about right. It doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect because you can trim them down or uh, touch them up with a bit of color to increase the size. Um, and I'm gonna use one of these fellas up here. Um, so all I'm gonna do is just cut him out don't have to be bang on on this just tight tight enough he said try not to cut his fingers off there we go let's move that out of the way now some clear water just cut a little bit of the excess off there we go there we go there's the shield we're going to put it on this is uh, just been base coated white that's slightly off white actually but need to as you know if you use these things you need to paint the um, where you're going to put them white uh, or at least off white stick it in the water give it a little bit of a soak you can see it just floating in there now, 
I mentioned standards. You could do exactly the same process. And one of the things I found is if you get um, kitchen uh, tin foil, especially the the sort of thicker stuff you get at Christmas, the um, turkey stuff, cut off a piece of that you think is going to be about the right size for your standard, just slightly bigger than you need. Uh, paint it white completely white probably take a couple of coats to get it really white then do this um, then do your, your the design for your standard um, using these transfers and Bob's your auntie oops excuse the dishwasher making lots of noise so he is finished you can see he's already coming off whoops oh yeah yeah here we go there you go Stuck down, and there you go. Now, that one isn't quite the right size for that shield, but it's close enough. And all I would do for this is get um, some white, uh, some yellow paint to match the yellow surround, and just paint round. You may see the edge of the transfer slightly but not enough to really matter when you're three foot away, four foot away. Um, and if you don't like the size, just resize it to make sure it is exactly the right size. But there you go. And so that is how, well, this is a different version of the, of the shield, but that's basically how that shield was done. And as I say, if you are artistically inclined, or say you're building your own um, fantasy regiment, um, and you can't, you know, you just have this idea for a standard and for, for shields to go with it. Just create them online, stick them, uh, print them out on the uh, transfers and they're good to go. Simple as that. So I help, hope you found that useful and interesting. If you did, please give it a like and, you know, happily share it to other people. I put a link in the description down below to the transfers um, so you can find the right ones that I used um, and um, yeah let me know how you get on love to know whether you have success I mean I may be te teaching people how to suck eggs they may be doing this already though no, I don't think so um, but it's a simple way to do it it's a cheap way to do it and gives you a huge amount of variety in terms of your shields and the options you can have in there so a caveat there is these after these images you don't own so don't go selling them um, and just be careful that uh, copyright might not belong to you it might belong to somebody else so just be just be aware of that but if you're creating your own um, or you're using image free pictures then knock yourself out and I think the majority of these these images um, if you're using them just purely for your own use on a you know one or two little figures on the tabletop I don't think anyone's going to particularly grumble um, but there you go simple and easy a uh, piece of free software that you've already got on your laptop uh, or on your computer um, using word or similar to put to size it color printer using these transfer things and there you go nice easy shields could equally be flags or anything else could be transfers to go on the side of your, your tanks could be emblems to go on the sides of your ships I don't know whatever you want transfers would work just as well so there you go hope you found it useful as I say if you did please give it a like give uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so and share with your friends and I will see you again soon this is Dom signing out